It's estimated over two and a half million people worldwide suffer from multiple sclerosis, a disease which affects the brain and the spinal cord. It's caused by a fault in the body's immune system, which causes cells to attack the central nervous system. In a three-year study, more than 300 patients received an annual dose of a drug which was created by scientists at Cambridge University 30 years ago to kill off cancerous immune system cells in leukemia sufferers. The results are seen as a breakthrough in the treatment of multiple sclerosis. We compared alemtuzumab against the standard licensed therapy for multiple sclerosis and found that it was significantly more effective. So first of all, alemtuzumab reduces the chance of having another attack of multiple sclerosis by over 70%. Secondly, it reduces the chance of getting more disability as a result of the disease over three years by more than 70%, both compared to the standard therapy that would be offered to someone with multiple sclerosis. But the most exciting news, and one that we really weren't expecting, is that at the end of three years in our trial, patients who'd been taking alemtuzumab were less disabled than they were at the outset of the study. Richard Collett was diagnosed with the disease in 2001. He was contacted by the Cambridge team to see if he wanted to take part in the trial and use the Alemtazumab drug, also known as Campath. What had happened to me was I would have numbness down my left or right hand side. Um, I couldn't coordinate, for instance, I couldn't put a cup of coffee on a table. Um, people would think I was drunk, to be honest with you. I'd be walking into, I'd walk through a door, but miss the door. Um, people would see me in the street and they'd think, oh, look at him, he's drunk. So basically that's how I was at the very beginning. And then they gave me Campath, and I had two lots of it. Um, I haven't had an attack since. Such was the improvement in Bridget's condition that last year he ran the London Marathon. It was something I really wanted to do, sort of say, look, I've come out the other side. Um, and it made me, it was like a sort of uh, significant thing to make myself sort of feel better about it all. Scientists say the findings suggest a lump to may allow damaged brain tissue to repair itself. But more work is needed before it can be considered for wider use. So the results we've published are from a phase two trial. What we need now is two phase three trials, which have just started, which will take a further two or three years, principally to define exactly how safe it is to give alemtuzumab to people early on in multiple sclerosis. But in four years' time, we hope to have gathered up all the necessary information for the regulatory authorities to decide whether or not this should be licensed as a treatment for multiple sclerosis. Such are the study's results that the drug is being described as the most promising and most significant multiple sclerosis treatment yet discovered.